Praxis Prepper. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. In this video, I have something to share with you guys that is disturbing and upsetting, and I don't really have any good news or anything that I can share with you that'll necessarily make it better. But it's important, and I wanted to share it with you. I just came across it this morning. Uh, this is based on a study that was done by Consumer Reports in regard to juices. And I'm down in my pantry. I've got a bunch of juices behind me. I stock juices because while it's best to eat fresh raw fruit because uh, you get all the fiber and everything along with it in the middle of winter sometimes you don't have access to that and it does uh, to drink juice does have uh, you know vitamin c other vitamins and things like that so it's a way of getting those into your diet well consumer reports did a uh, research study on juices looking for heavy metals and they found that pretty universally pretty much all juices that are available in the united states are contaminated with heavy metals. They were looking specifically for cadmium, lead, mercury, and arsenic. Uh, and they, their study was pretty broad. They did uh, everything from it, you know, the expensive, like $5 per bottle juices down to the cheap, you know, kind of junky juices. They did organic juices. They did inorganic juices. They did all sorts of things. And pretty universally, they were finding that there were toxic levels of many of these heavy metals in the juices. <laughs> And, you know, I guess the uh, reaction to that is that, well, like, why are these juice companies, you know, putting poisons in? I, I know some people say, like, well, there's like this Agenda 21, there's like population reduction schemes, and, you know, they're, they're taking heavy metals and, and dripping them into the juices to try to destroy the population's ability to think. I don't think it's that. Uh, you know, there is the idea of like, well, you know, what is it about juices that are, you know, causing them to have all of these, uh, you know, problems? Because it seems like wherever you go, if you're drinking juice, you're probably getting exposed to this kind of stuff. And uh, the problem really is worse than, you know, some kind of a nefarious, you know, secret scheme of juice companies trying to, like, poison us. The problem is, is that pretty much wherever, and this is my take on it, uh, pretty much wherever these fruits are being sourced to get, you know, the material to make these juices is coming from a polluted area because all these uh, fruits, uh, they have something in common in terms of, what, of where they're being grown, and that is that they're being grown on planet Earth. And the entirety of planet Earth is getting to the point where it's starting to get really polluted here. I know that's controversial uh, for people to hear. Um, if you find that really disturbing, make sure you let me know about how off I am on that. But it seems really academic to me uh, that if you take a ball and you throw it up in the air, it's going to come down. And there's nothing controversial about the idea that our industry and our transportation sector are throwing these atoms, you know, cadmium, lead, mercury, up in the air. The only uh, controversial part is, to, is as to whether or not those things just disappear, never to be heard from again when they go up in the air, or whether they come back down. Like I said, it seems pretty simple. You throw a ball in the air and it comes back down. Um, but I know that's controversial uh, for people to uh, consider that. But that seems to be what the problem is. I, I know another reaction that people have is that like, well, lead, mercury, all these things, these are, you know, people aren't alchemists. They're not creating these things. These are all in the earth. They're natural. So what's the problem? Like, you know, these things are, you know, they're just in the ground. They've always been in the ground. They're, you know, just growing into the crops. The fact that we're taking them from deep in the earth, throwing them up in the air, and then having them rain back down onto the surface, that has nothing to do with why there's so much on the surface getting into our food. These are just natural things that are, you know, naturally occurring, so what's the problem? Uh, that kind of, to me, that kind of sounds like saying, well, fire is a natural thing, so I don't see what the problem is with my kid playing with matches over by that pile of newspaper over there. I mean, fire is natural. Like, you know, why should we be worried about it? Uh, yeah, just because something's natural doesn't mean that you want to be creating more of it right in your immediate vicinity. So. You know, yeah, I think those are going to be a lot of the reactions that people have to this because it's it's frustrating, it's daunting, and it's kind of insurmountable. Uh, not just insurmountable in like a psychological sense, like you know, oh, I, I just I can't get past this. It's just I can't think of how to solve this problem. I think this problem literally is not going to be solved. And the reason I think about that in that way is because humans in our history here on Earth have always ruined our environment. That's kind of what we do. Uh, we find something that we just 
love and get addicted to, whether it's like, you know, the Mayans, you know, deforesting their whole area because they wanted to make as much plaster to cover up their pyramids, or it's, uh, you know, was it the Lebanese cutting down all their cedar forests, or, you know, well, I'm not going to go through a whole list, but it's like every time there was a major civilization, they almost always destroy their environment by some kind of, you know, environmental degradation. Uh, you know, it, with us, it's, uh, you know, taking a, you know, a lot of these chemicals from deep within the earth that other civilizations didn't have access to, and, you know, we're throwing them up and they're just you know, kind of getting everywhere. We're creating, a, you know, a new kind of surface to the planet earth. And um, like I said, humans have always done this in the past, and they've always succumbed to it. They've never, well, I don't, I don't like to say never, almost never, uh, have solved the problem for themselves. I, I honestly can't think of an example offhand. You know, maybe there is an example. Um, but it, certainly not a major example where there was a major, 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 and that's what we're facing, is a major environmental situation, and that people were able to just completely change their way of life to get past it. So I don't think that we're special in any way. I know a lot of Americans, anyway, like to think of ourselves as the exceptional people, you know, we're, we're unlike any people that have ever been on the planet Earth before. You know, none of the problems that have plagued people in the past would ever affect us because we're different in some way. We're smarter than anyone else that's ever come, uh, ever. I, it just, that seems arrogant to me. Whenever something's patting you on the back, back saying, you're special, you're better than anyone else in the world, you know, whoever's selling that to you is probably a salesman of some, of some type because um, it's almost never true that you are the m smartest, most amazing person that's ever lived. That's probably not true of you. It's probably not true of me. We're human beings. We're fallible like all the human beings in the past. And, uh, you know, we're succumbing to the same kind of thing. So there you go. I wanted to share with you guys that news story. I don't have any particular answer to it. Uh, well, I mean, the obvious answer is, well, just stop, uh, you know, drinking juice. It's got heavy metals in it. But Again, the problem is not that juice manufacturers are like nefariously putting, ha <laughs> you know, we're going to like poison the population. That's not what's happening. It's the entire planet and all the food that we get is being grown on the planet somewhere. You know, even, you know, the water that you might just get out of the ground, it's like, well, I'll stop doing juice, I'll get water. Well, you know, that's still all precipitating through the same polluted air as everything else. So, yeah, it's an issue and I wanted to uh, share it with you guys. I don't think it's an issue that we're gonna get the better of, but if you've got if you've got a great idea about it, other than just like ignore it or pretend that it's not a real thing, I'd love to hear it in the comments below. Everyone would love to hear it if you have a, a solution to this. Uh, to me, it reads as something, it's just like, well, this is what it's like living on a planet that's slowly being poisoned, which sucks, but you know. I, I usually like to wrap up the episodes with some sort of like an up ending. It's like, you know, but you know, you can do it. <laughs> Uh, you know, not so much on this one. Um, I, I suppose the silver lining is that it's going to get worse. The earth for the foreseeable future will never be as clean and pristine as it is right now because it's getting worse every day. That's positive. Enjoy today. <laughs> That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4.30 New York time for a new video. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so both through Patreon or PayPal.